at this point, I don't know. Um, I rack my head, my mind, you know, constantly since it happened. Um, to be honest with myself and what I feel in my heart is, I ultimately think he, he didn't want to hurt anybody. He, uh, I think he went down there purely for suicide by cop. And I think he knew there was no other alternative once he did what he had to do, or he, he felt that he wanted to do. That's, I don't know any sight on that. That's just an inside gut feeling of, of my boy. I really don't know. I study mental illness and I sincerely think something, something. Um, during his uh, army uh, career, he was hospitalized in a mental institution for two weeks. It's not him. It's, there's nothing in those eyes. That's, I know it's him, but it, with, it just looked like a blank stare of, it's not my boy. I never thought this would happen. Um, I saw the picture and like him, those eyes like, he like lost in space, completely lost in space. We'd had discussions of you know, suicide thoughts, you know, in, in the past, um, you know, and I've talked to him, his mother's talked to him, he, he had other friends and f people that he talked to and it was always, Dad, I'm, I will never do it. I will never hurt anybody. I'm, I'm good, I'm fine. Brian, he was, he was gentle. It was, I had only seen him upset a handful of times and it was nothing, you know, outlandish crazy. Um, he was, he was funny, he was quirky, um, but most of all, he was kind. He was always uh, a good son, always attached to me. He couldn't stay away from me for too long, put it that way. Um, he was never disrespectful or never got in trouble at school. My son was a very good shot. First time he picked up a 22, he, he could shoot a, walk a can up a hill. I know you were there. He didn't have intention to hurt anybody. He, he went, from what I've seen and heard, he had a lot of rounds that could have went all over the place. That's why I feel that he, he had no intention on hurting anybody except one person and himself and, and i'm thankful that no one else was was injured or no one else killed every time it was dad i love you i'm i'm fine i'm i'm good i'm not going to do anything i'm not i'm not dumb i'm not not stupid and it would you know as a as a father, I'm supposed to protect my children spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And then as a senior NCO, I'm supposed to do the same. And my son was my son, and he was a soldier. And I just, it seems to me that I failed in some form or fashion to protect him from himself. And if I get anything out of this, I want soldiers or veterans, anybody, even civilian side, to reach out for help. He had family, he had friends that he could have called this off. He could have helped somebody 